For weeks, we've been social distancing, we've been masking, we've been self-isolating, all to flatten the curve. And right now, Madison County leaders tell us it could be paying off. Here's Sydney Stallworth. Unless we see a blimp, we see some increase in the next few days, it appears that we have leveled off and we're not going to have that peak everybody talks about. But don't get too excited. It scares me that people will let their guard down because they're looking at these numbers and they're, they're feeling good about things and all of a sudden they just decide to, to not um, practice the social distancing and sanitize as we constantly promote up here. Spillers uses a chart that tracks the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Madison County, but he says he wants to see information on the number of active cases, not including the number of people who've recovered from COVID-19. When we see that number drop and we'll know we really have this under control. Over 5,400 people have been tested in the county. Over 120 of those people are experiencing homelessness. 60 tests have returned from the homeless community, all negative. The county is sending mobile testing units to areas where people may lack transportation next week. Spiller says the efforts are going well, but there is a need for a new and faster form of testing to truly get accurate numbers. I think rapid testing is something everybody in our country needs. Officials say preparation has made all the difference. So much of the, the testing on the front end that found those who had it and quarantined those as quickly as we could, I think is now paying off. And they remind locals of a very important message. Shelter in place order does not mean that you should not seek health care if you're having issues. Do not wait. Come as you normally would. Putting the Valley first, Cindy Stallworth, WZDX News.